Hi guys, this is Denise Brooks with Alexis Information Systems. Today's video will cover fast checkout tips using QuickBooks Point of Sale. In this video, using a live demo of QuickBooks Point of Sale V18, I will show you how to add UPC codes from your manufacturer into your item list. And then I will also show you how to create quick picks in your make a sale screen so it would help you check out a little bit faster. Then after that demo, I have an in office demo where I show you how to print your item barcodes using the zebra printer called Z Zebra ZD410. It's a USB printer. And then I will also show you how to print a quick lookup page that you can get your item list, the items that you sell the most, you can have it on your counter. That way if a customer can, comes in, you can just uh, scan those items. So that's a lookup page. So I will show you how to make one and print it using just your regular laser printer. So, Keep on watching. I will switch now to the computer demo. Guys, welcome back, guys. In this scenario, I would like to show you what you would do if you wanted to create an item that has your manufacturer's UPC code. That way, when you check out, you can check out the product directly. As an example, I am using Pledge, <laughs> which is a product that all of you have seen. And in the back, there, that's your manufacturer's uh, UPC code. It's also a barcode, of course. Okay. So I'll create a new item. Call it Pledge, clean it. And for the sake of the example, we will we'll just say it's promotional and we'll give it a price of $8. And let's put a quantity of five. There's a lot more uh, information that we can add, but for the sake of this example, I'm going to only put those. Before I save, because this is a new item, what I could do is type all of this into the UPC code, uh, ignore that. I could type all of this into the UPC code box. However, I would recommend that you use your Honeywell scanner uh, I'm pretty sure most of you have one of these. It com usually comes with your uh, first purchase. And if you need one of them, I can get you a discount. Um, all right, so let's do this. So I make sure that my cursor is on the UPC code and see if I can do this backward and there. Yay. All right. That saves it. All right. Now we have the UPC code along with our, our item number. So every time we have to sell pledge, all we would have to do is just scan it directly. Let's make an example. Go to make a sale. All right. I'm using the same thing. Yay. This makes it so much easier for you if you are able to do that. So you'll never have to buy label uh, paper and reprint it. Saves you a lot of time. Next, I will show you how to create a quick pick list. Also helps you speed up your checkout process. See you in a minute. Welcome back, guys. For this scenario, I want to show you how to create quick pick, uh, quick pick items. In QuickBooks point of sale, you use quick pick items for fast checkout. Right now with the V18, when you get to the quick pick screen, it also calls it group, which can be confusing if it's the first time you use it. Just keep in mind when you start this list, 
using the quick pick items in the make a sale screen, this is not a place for inventory. It's only for fast checkout. I'm in the make a sale screen. I click on quick pick items and on the right of my screen, you'll see it says add group. So I'll click on the plus sign and I would say uh, shoes. How about that? Maybe choose plus because one of them is skates. All right. After I create my group name, then I double click and then I can start adding item to it. And if I had labels for them, I could just scan that those items and add them to the list. For the shoes, however, I only have the item name numbers. So that's my first one. All right. Now you can see under groups, I have my quick pick items selection. I hate to call it group because in really for inventory groups mean something else. Now that we set up our quick pick items, I want to sh show you how you can sell it. In reality, in QuickBooks Point of Sale V18, the quick pick items list works simply like a bookmark. So think about it, how you would have a bookmark in your Firefox, Chrome. You have a list, you just click on one that exists, then you add it to your uh, sales receipt. So I have to start in the Make a Sales screen. And in the Make a Sales screen, I click on the button that says Quick pick items, right? The, here's the quick pick items group that I created earlier, shoes. I clicked once and it shows me the items. And I, all I have to do is just click once on e each item. One time, I go back, one time. And then it show, shows in my list. So if you cannot embrace the scanning process the easiest way to uh, speed up your checkout would be to use the quick pick items in QuickBooks Point of Sale. All right, now that you have learned how to add UPC codes to your items, you would know that if you are selling an item that has the same barcode as your manufacturer, you don't have to print a barcode for it. But if you have an item that you do not have that UPC, you can print a barcode in QuickBooks Point of Sale using your item number. And that's the demo that you will see next. This next demo shows you how to print in one page a list of items with their barcodes. That way, if you can keep it on your counter, uh, front counter and your employees or yourself can scan them to speed up the checkout process. So an example would be, let's say if you sell pens or needles or something that is so small that you can't put a barcode on, but yet you want the ability to be able to scan for accuracy. Because if you type on your screen looking for those items and you have a lot of people waiting, it doesn't help your business. So next video, next uh, screen will show you how to print a lookup paper.
thank you for watching guys i'm glad you've had an opportunity to see those demos that showing you how you can process your sales a little bit faster in quickbooks point of sale i hope it helps you with the retail season and if you want to learn more about quickbooks point of sale i invite you to check out our channel because we have multiple videos on quickbooks point of sale and while you're doing that please subscribe thank you for watching and have a great day